Okay, close your eyes and watch the breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. All the way in, all the way out. Try to stay right here. Any other thoughts come by, you don't have to pay them any attention. Just think of them as travelers on a road, but you're in your house. You don't have to get all excited about who's coming going up and down the road. You want a safe place to stay inside, so you've got to create that safe place. It's not that the dangers of the world are only outside, the main dangers are inside. Your greed, aversion, and delusion, they can latch on to almost anything and really make you suffer. So you've got to watch out for them. You're going to take this seat here inside your house. This is in a John Chaw's image. You've got a house with one chair, and you're in the chair. And don't let anybody persuade you to get out of the chair, because if you do, then they'll get in the chair and they'll be, order you around. If you're in the chair, you can order them around. So stay here with the breath, all the way in, all the way out. Be consistent. Otherwise, your house is going to have leaks. When you settle in here, okay, the mind has a, gets a sense of rest, it gets a sense of strength. And it can use that strength, both in its worldly activities and in developing itself even further. So give it this space, give it this time, because, because the mind does need re time to rest and gather its strength. It's much better than sleeping. When you sleep, you may rest, you may not rest. Who knows what's going to come in your dreams? But when you're here and you're in charge, okay, anybody who comes to the door, you say, no, thank you. You can check them out. If there's something good that you, you want to bring in, okay, bring it in. Otherwise, just let it go. Because it's not the case that when you're in the house, you don't see anything outside. You've got windows, you've got doors, and you can open them and close them as you like. But it's good to have something that you can open and close. In other words, a way of saying no to any thoughts that come in that would disturb you, or that would excite your greed, aversion, and delusion. And saying yes to things would actually help you in terms of the Dharma. Otherwise, your house is like a railroad station or a bus station. Anybody can come in, anybody can go out, and who knows what they're doing? They start looking around inside the station. But here you're in charge. It's your house. Anybody you don't want inside here, you can throw out. So make this your shelter. Make this your safe place inside. And the more consistently you can stay with the breath, the tighter your shelter will be. The more airtight and watertight, protect you against the rain, protect you against the wind, the sun when it's protected against the sun when it's too hot, the wind when it's too cold. You need the safe place inside. Otherwise you're subject to all the defilements, not only your defilements, but other people's defilements. But this is a place where you can get away from them and gather your strength. <laughs>